2022 has marked a change in pace for the global strategy, targeting key capacity gaps at all levels, the three partners, FAO, Paris 21 and the Economic Commission for Africa have provided focused, demand-driven support to 25 African countries, a significant shift from the preparatory phase of the past year. Paris 21 is equipping agricultural statistical units with the knowledge they need to hire, develop and retain skilled workforces. 2022 has seen the conclusion of a baseline study of HR policies in nine countries, the development of HR policies tailored to the agricultural sector, a regional peer learning discussion and training events attended by 22 participants from 15 countries. Paris 21 is also working with senior management on vital leadership and communication skills, which are too often overlooked in professional training. In May, Rwanda was the stage for a successful leadership training for representatives from national statistics offices of six countries. Some of the very, very important and in this context, the system statistics in particular, the Institute of Statistics doivent pouvoir développer des capacités nouvelles, des approches nouvelles, mais également donc des capacités pour pouvoir fournir également donc les informations attendues, mais créer davantage la confiance. Paris 21 is also unlocking the power of its ADAPT software for the development of strategic plans for agricultural statistics or SPARS. Together, FAO and Paris 21 are helping countries align the production of statistics to national needs. This synergy was demonstrated in Madagascar, where FAO's technical assistance on SPARS and Paris 21 support on ADAPT has helped the country ensure optimal integration between the ongoing processes of SPARS and NSTS development. ECA is providing sustainable capacities in national institutions. In 2022, the scholarship program has supported 50 young men and women from 25 countries to attend a master's in agricultural statistics at three top African schools. This specialized expertise is much needed by their national institutions, which they will rejoin to form a new generation of highly skilled agricultural statisticians. And through the basic training in agricultural statistics held at ENSEA in Abidjan, 31 participants from 18 national agencies have further increased the critical mass of agricultural statisticians. For FAO, country-led technical assistance on cost-effective methods that supports beneficiaries on their national service as well as data processing, analysis and dissemination has already shown evidence of uptake and use. 34 workshops and trainings delivered in 2022 alone have established a link between technical assistance and national agendas. Countries are being supported where they need it the most to help them deliver on their own objectives. The workshop on farm typology in Burkina Faso is one such example. This formation doit permettre au pays de pouvoir suivre les évolutions qui interviennent au sein du secteur in terms of transformation structural and of agriculture, to improve the ciblage of our producers to better orient our interventions. This formation has allowed us to revisit the tools of the collect, the questionnaires, and where there are new variables to integrate, so that we can be able to do the work in order to improve the collect of the data statistics agricole. 2023 will be an opportunity for the program to consolidate its synergy-based, needs-focused approach. But with such deeply transformative programs, sites are set on more distant horizons. A third phase, aiming at more sustainability, can be the key to unlock the power of national agricultural data.